Recall how the gradient descent works. At each iteration, we find a new point, that's closer to the local minimum of the function, by moving the point in the direction of the descent. By how much we move the point, is determined by the step size, also known as, learning rate, which in our formula is denoted as an epsilon. There are several ways of choosing this parameter, one of which is a line search. Line search, is a way of evaluating the function for different values of epsilon, and choosing the one, that minimizes function the most. We shall now consider the backtracking line search, one of the most basic, and popular of these methods. Backtracking line search, starts by selecting a value for beta, in range from 0 to 1. This parameter, determines by how much we update the learning rate at each iteration. Conventionally, learning rate at the start of this method, is set to 1. Next, we should evaluate the following inequality. Given that the inequality is true for the current epsilon, we update the learning rate, by multiplying it with beta. So after each iteration, epsilon gets smaller. Since we've familiarized ourselves with the algorithm, let's do one example by hand. We will try to minimize the function, that squares the input. For this problem, we will use beta equal to 0.707, and start minimization with initial point of 600. Now we need to evaluate, whether the inequality in the algorithm is true, and if it is, update the learning rate. Substituting the respective values into the inequality, we find, that the it holds true. Hence, we update the learning rate by multiplying it with beta. Now, we should test again, whether the inequality holds true, but now with an updated version of the learning rate. By substituting values into the inequality, we see that it still holds true, so we update the learning rate once again. On our third iteration, the inequality no longer holds true, so we no longer update the epsilon. As a result of backtracking line search, we end up with the learning rate, that is approximately 0.5. By using this epsilon, the new point after gradient descent is 0.18, and the value of the function is approximately 0.03.